So in this super quick episode, I'm going to show you five things in the scopes in DaVinci Resolve that you may not know and stick to the end because you don't want to miss the last one. All right, let's have a look at the scopes then. So if we press Shift, Command and W, we can open them up into a large view. You can also put them onto a second display if you want to, which is what I recommend. And what I'm going to show you, if you click here, this is the main menu and you've got something here called Display Qualifier Focus. What I'm going to do is switch to the waveform. And what Display Qualifier Focus does is it allows us to hover over our, let's say we want to measure the skin tone. It allows us to hover over and you can see those three circles appearing on the waveform. So that's Display Qualifier Focus. Tip number two, change your waveform. What I'm going to do is click on the settings here. So this is main settings for the whole scopes. This one here is the settings for each individual scope. By default, it looks at RGB. What we want to do on the waveform is look at the Y. We want to look at the luminance channel. And the other thing I'm going to take off is colorize. Now, when we want to see the RGB levels, we're going to use the parade. But watch what happens now in the display qualifier focus. Instead of those three circles, which makes it a little bit harder to see where your levels are, if we click on here now, we've just got a single circle. So we can see exactly where we are on the scopes. Switch over to the RGB parade and you've got the three individual levels, but it's a much clearer way of viewing it. Another tip, if you're working with the parade, if you click in here, you can actually select Y RGB. So you see the luminance and the individual RGB channels. Really good tip. Tip number three is zooming into the scopes. Now I'm gonna need a mouse with a middle wheel on that. So just buy a cheap mouse, plug it in. I'm gonna put the pen down. Got my mouse here. And if you press Option on your keyboard, you can actually zoom right into the scopes. Now, if I middle mouse click and drag, I can zoom around here as well. Now, this is great. I can actually analyze the shadows here. So I'm zoomed right in and I can see exactly what's going on. Let's have a look at the vector scope. If I bring the vector scope up again, Option and zoom, we can scroll right in. So obviously on the vector scope, you can't drag it around because you need it sitting on the correct vectors. To set that back, you just click up here and you can press Reset. So tip number four, we're gonna use the image wipe to compare two shots so we can grade them better using the scopes, but I'm gonna take it to the next level. So traditionally, you'd probably double click the still that's graded, and then you can see that in your window here. And on the waveform, what's nice is we're comparing the graded shot on this side to the ungraded shot on this side, and we can then start balancing them up. So let me just do a little bit of work in here, something like that. Let's bring that down a little bit. But the problem is I'm only seeing a third of the image I want to grade here and two thirds of the image that's graded. So what I'm going to do is change the style of this. I'm going to come off image wipe here. I'm going to go to this one called split screen. And in here I can choose anything I want. So I've got selected still images. So this one's selected. And the beauty of this is that you're seeing both images in full side by side. So I'm getting a much better representation of what I'm comparing to. Now, the other nice thing with this mode is if you go to the vector scope, they actually sit on top of each other in here. So if I go to my balance node here and just start moving my offset, I'll go extreme. You can see that the graded image is sitting still underneath. And all I've got to do is put that trace directly on top and I'm balanced. Absolutely fantastic. So let me know in the comments if you've got any other scope tips or which one of these has been your favorite. And if you've enjoyed this content and you've learned something from it, think about subscribing for me. It really is appreciated. And if you want to let YouTube know that you've enjoyed this, hit the like button for me. So tip number five is all to do with the vector scopes. And what I'm going to do is customize them to make them even more useful for me. What I'm going to do is go into a four display and we've got our vector scope here. And if you look in here, you'll see that it's currently set to all. That means it's analyzing the entire image. What I want to do is make three more. I'm going to make a vector scope here, a vector scope here, and a vector scope here. This one, I'm going to change its settings to be low. So all it's going to do is read the shadows. This one here, I'm going to change its setting to be mids. And on this one, I'm going to set it to be high. So what I've now got is three separate scopes that are reading the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. And I've got this one here for overall image. So watch what happens when I increase the highlights. You can see that trace getting slightly bigger there. And then if I move my gain, you see obviously it's affecting all of it, but my focus on the scope is here. So I can see exactly what's going on. Really useful for white balancing. So for those who stayed this far in the video, I've got an extra bonus tip for you, and it's nothing to do with Resolve Scopes. So as you may know, if you follow my channel, I use Nob Omniscope, which is a dedicated software for scopes. 
and there is nothing wrong with the resolve scopes then the omniscope gives you exactly the same readings but it allows me to customize it much much further and have added tools so it's absolutely fantastic that's what i've got running in the background here so it's no omniscope now the reason i'm showing you this is because from november the 19th to december the 1st they've got a special offer of 30 percent off either the video or a pro license so that is a fantastic deal but even more than that exclusive to my channel only if you use the link below and put the code darren at checkout you're going to get an extra 5%. So I've only ever seen it once at this price and that was this time last year. So 35% off no Bomniscope Pro or no Bomniscope video. Use the link below, code Darren. You won't find that deal anywhere else, not even on the Time and Pixels website. Let me show you my layout and then you can get an idea of what's going on. So I've got mine on a dedicated machine, but you can run it inside DaVinci Resolve. So what you do is apply Omniscope effect to an adjustment clip. Then if you highlight that and go to the effects, you can open Omniscope from there. So this is the layout that I've got. And what you'll see straight away is the vector scopes. I've got mine permanently on low, mid and high. They just sit there really nicely. I've got my waveform, my dedicated waveform here and my dedicated vector scope here. And I can zoom this in and out. I can customize all these. You can really go to town on the customization. I've got my histogram here. I like to have a histogram to show me what's happening with my contrast. Twin Peaks is a dedicated scope inside the Omniscope and it allows me to see really easily whether I'm effectively white balanced or not. It's a really quick tool for doing that. I've done a few episodes on Omniscope and I've got one that's actually dedicated to looking at Twin Peaks. I'll put a link to that in the description. This waveform here is showing me the bottom 15% of my blacks. So it's the shadows. So this is what I did uh, on the Resolve when we zoomed in using Option, but this is up here all the time. I've always seeing the bottom 15% of my shadows. I love that. Here's my overall waveform. So don't forget you can customize this exactly how you want it to be, but I've got an extra four images down at the bottom. This one here is showing me exposure, so it's false color. This one is showing me my skin tones. So at a glance, I can see where my skin tones are sitting. This one I've got set to black and white. It's just a very quick way of checking contrast. I can see noise a little bit easier on that as well. And this one is just a full color image. So that is my Omniscope setup. So don't forget 35% exclusively with the link down below. Put the code Darren at checkout. Look after yourselves, enjoy your scopes, and I'll see you in the next episode.